Hi, this is Karthik from AzureAutomation.com and this is part 17 of our BDD video series. And in this part, we'll be trying to fix the SpecFlow plus Excel issue with Visual Studio 2015. So this is a new issue altogether. So how to fix it? Well, we'll be getting an exception called cast object exception. In Visual Studio 2015, we'll get a weird error while trying to compile SpecFlow feature file as shown below. This is the error. Unable to cast object of type system.xml.xml comment to type system.xml.xml element. Well, you don't really get what is this issue, but to fixing this issue, the solution is pretty simple. Well, how to fix it? So for that, I'm going to flip to Visual Studio. So I have created a very simple specflow feature and we have added a very simple feature files with a very simple scenario and we have also added an art source of data.xlsx and I'm using Visual Studio 2015 this time and you can see this is the version. And now if I try to build this solution, you will get an error stating unable to cast the object of type system.xml.xml comment to type system.xml.xml element. Well, how to fix this issue? The solution is pretty simple, but getting that solution is kind of troublesome. But I will tell you how to fix this very simply. Just right click the solution and go to the open folder in Explorer and just go to the folder for the project and here you will see there is a specflow excel.cs proj so all you have to do is to edit the cs proj file just open with any of the test editor you have i have sublime text so i'm opening with that and the tool version here is what is the culprit which makes the specflow plus excel to be unusable because of this particular tool version i think visual studio 2015 is still not supported by specflow plus excel soon this issue will be fixed and this video is not going to help anybody but as of now i'm just trying to release this video so that it will help some people who are facing this issue right now before a fix is going to be come up with specflow plus excel so how to fix this just change the tool version from 14.0 to 12.0 and save this particular file and go to visual studio and it will ask you that the file has been modified somewhere outside. Just reload the particular file or the project and now try to build the solution. You will see that the build got succeeded and go to the test explorer and you will see the happy tests. So that's it guys. This is how you can fix the issue with specflow plus Excel with Visual Studio 2015. Thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.